Hey, what's up, looters? Jed Montella here, and welcome to Jed's Loot Box, where I post anything and everything about toys and collectibles. Hello there! For those who have been following my vlog a couple of weeks ago, we uh, posted a brand new uh, collection line that I've been uh, getting into. Of course, I'm speaking of no other than the Art Toys line. Um, a little backstory, uh, I'm a toy collector and I started out collecting um, statues and then uh, I moved on to um, Funko Pops and then expanded to uh, Sylvanian families. I have a couple of Lego pieces and lately I discovered the wonderful world of art toys. And um, it kind of sparked my interest because I myself I have been a lover of toys ever since I was a kid and um, I love to draw, I love to sketch, put my imagination into paper and um, never did I imagine that I would get into art toys and um, have my sketches brought to life. But we're gonna talk about that in another vlog. I'm just pretty excited because when you are immersed in something like in a world that uh, gives you so much happiness. The passion and the eagerness always comes out. I'm sure every toy collector who's listening to me right now can relate to the feeling when you talk about something that you really, really love, right? Before going to the actual vlog, I would like to um, tell you a little story about how my week went. Um, we are still on quarantine, still on lockdown. I haven't gone out of the house for more than two months already. And it has been my toys, keeping me company here, keeping my sanity intact. Uh, it somehow gives me that sense of happiness whenever I just go into my toy collection room, lock myself in and just sit down and look at my toys. I'm back to being a kid again, I forget all my problems. And this week, I have been so blessed to chat online with some of um, local artists from the Philippines who are amazing, amazing artists. They have been uh, in the business for a couple of years now and it's just so nice that for a newbie like me, messaging these big artists from the art toy um, scene and them replying to me and actually exchanging conversation, it, it's just so overwhelming and uh, now I know how it feels to be a fanboy because I am a big, big fan of of uh, their works. I actually have five favorites right now. Of course, number one would be Quicks, and uh, number two would be, uh, this is in no particular order, okay? Number one, Quicks. Number two, um, Creon Chicken. Number three, I uh, also uh, love the work of uh, Armand Kendrick. And of course, I also love the work of Sir Carlo of uh, Wetworks. And of course, recently I um, discover the works of Sir Dondi Fernandez and uh, these top five guys have been so nice to me to the point that they have been sharing so many trade secrets on how to go about the art toy uh, environment what to buy what not to buy what to check um, the price ranges and if ever I get into the toy business or the toy designing uh, and production business they've been giving me tips and um, you know ideas on how to go about it and it's just so nice that these people are not selfish with um, their their knowledge in this uh, industry so uh, hats off to the five of you guys um, that is why you guys are blessed because you share your ideas you share your knowledge and uh, your only goal uh, is not just you know to make money out of the toys but to make people happy and to make people enjoy, really, really enjoy and go back to childhood. And that is my main passion whenever I collect toys. It is not just for the heck of expanding a collection, for bragging rights. It's more of for my own personal happiness. I myself, I am a big kid. That's why if you are following my uh, toy posts, I always put the hashtag, hashtag, I am a big kid. So there you go. So uh, those are my top favorites. Um, from the local industry of uh, the to art toys and uh, lately I have been uh, we I'm sure everybody can relate to this we have had so much time in our hands that we would do anything and everything just to keep ourselves busy I myself have been on the internet 24 7 
I've been, uh, you know, browsing, I've been researching, I've been chatting, of course, with other um, designers of toys. And um, lately, I came across a line of toys. Uh, it's not local, it's, uh, I think it's an LA-based toy company. And uh, it's called Course. And amazing. The works are just so amazing. I now remember seeing a piece of uh, their work in Green Hills. I think it was in a boat that there's this guy and there's this huge character sitting on it. And every time I would pass by, it would always catch my attention. But then it was not yet that into my head yet. I was still into Funkos then. But now, um, having more knowledge about these art toys, I came across the work of course, not of course, the work of course. Yeah, you get what I mean. Um, and researched on their works and it's just so nice because I like their lines I like their their, their the, the the ideas that they make it's, it's pretty intense and it speaks a lot of, of the present society right now um, yeah I'm not gonna go deeper into how it you know how how things mean to me but it depends on how you look at a piece right so uh, for me these pieces speak so much of everybody's experiences, everybody's uh, journeys, everybody's uh, um, hang-ups. So, uh, you know, that's why I got so hooked into uh, the work, of course. Um, I've been researching about them, and uh, originally it was made, it was really made by this guy named Mark Lanver. Lanver, it's a W, but then I think it's German. So, uh, Lanver, Lanver. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce it. And then he was joined by a guy named Sven Vash. So uh, these two guys are the creative brains behind all the toys that you see under the course label. Okay, so today I am going to be unboxing my very, very first course piece. And I got this online from a seller. And uh, it's pretty exciting because as what I've heard from other toy collectors, these are pretty hard to find uh, pieces already. It didn't come cheap, but uh, you know, um, that feeling when you find a piece, um, even if it's kind of pricey, you have that urge to buy it. Because there are some pieces na sobrang ganda, but then you're like, mm, okay, mahal eh. You don't get it. But now, well, but when I saw these pieces, I'm like, I have to have those pieces. So, um, Closing my eyes, transferred money, sent the money, and then had it delivered here in my doorstep. So today I am going to be unboxing the Flake Fluid and Float Pain Edition of Quartz. Okay, so we have the box over here. Ha! Huh. To all the art toy collectors out there, you know that feeling when you look at an unopened box? It's like goosebumps all over your body and you're like you don't want to open it but you want to open it you get it I, I don't know there's like you just want to look at the box for a while and you just want to get excited that's how I'm feeling right now I'm sure toy collectors watching right now know how I feel exactly how I feel there's like tingling all over me it's it's just so nice even the, the weather is cooperating it's raining I love the rain. Anyway, uh, let's 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 open this up. I've been talking so much already. I'm sure you guys are pretty excited. I'm sure you guys want to put like a, a tape in my mouth. Shut up now and open the box. But guys, it's my channel. I'm I'm enjoying every moment. It's it's this is a once in a lifetime thing. When you open this, it's done, right? You cannot put it back in the box and open it again. But I know you're like, Jen, shut up. Open it now. Okay, I'm gonna open it now. <gasps> you guys ready? Ah. Well, this is the box and it comes with a plastic wrap and so we take it out. And this is how it looks. This is the box from course, the Flake Fluid Float Pain edition. So it comes in this 
big box, very sturdy box. And black and gray, uh, white and gray. And uh, yeah, that's how it looks all over. And there's like the branding. And uh, of course, there's the details over here. It's a 12 inches vinyl figure by Mark Lambert and Ben Vosch over here. And of course, there's a warning this is not a toy. You know what that means. This is for 15 years old up. So let's now open it. There's a vacuum, guys. You know that vacuum feeling when you open a box? Cool it, cool. Okay, let's put this here. And then there's like this cardboard. And there's this foam over here. <gasps> are you guys ready? Are you ready? Oh my god, they are so amazing. Wow. <laughs> I can hear you guys. Everybody's like, come on, open it. Okay, there you go, guys. Look at that. How does that look? Don't they look amazing, guys? Wow! Pretty nice. Okay, so it is in monochrome. Um, I think there's also a, a, a version of this in color. I think there's another version of this without the blood spatter. And the one that I got is the one with the blood um, spattered on them. I guess that's why it's called pain, I guess. Alright, so let's put them together. Let's assemble them. Oh, amazing! So nice! Also comes with this attachment, I guess, that you can. Well, that's what they told me. You can take out the head, take out the head of this guy, and you snap this on, it's like a wheel or something, and then you can attach the skateboard on his head. See? You know, it, it depends on how you interpret that concept. If, if you're like somebody who, who just looks at something and like, oh, it's a surfer dude and a skater boy. That's it. But there's more to art toys than just how you look at them. It's how you interpret them. It's how they affect you based on your life experiences. Even that splatter of blood in their, their chest. It, it has meaning, right? So I'm just gonna put this back here because I'm not gonna put that. Let me see it. Okay, so, uh, yeah. With art toys, when you look at them, they're they're just pretty much like those paintings and sculptures that we what we look at in museums. They convey a message to you. They they kind of spark what's in your brain, right? What was the artist thinking when they were? creating these stuff or these artworks let's not call them stuff Miranda Priestley is gonna get mad yeah, right she doesn't want to call her fashion stuffs so we're gonna call them creations wow all right so these works of art um, have meaning right so uh, there you have it guys it's I, I'm, I'm actually speechless looking at it it's I'm, I'm excited to display them. I'm excited to look for a place for them. I think they're gonna have their own space in my collection. Uh, can we name them Mark and Sven? Right, because it's like from, the, from the, the designers. Comment down below on what you think with, this, uh, with these pieces from Course, the pain line and uh, again, it's called Flake Fluid Float. There you have it, looters. Our very first course piece. Um, of course, this is flake fluid float. 
I'm gonna appreciate them first. I'm gonna look for a place in my house, like a shelf or a glass case for these two dudes. Well, there you have it, guys. My very, very first uh, course art toys. And uh, I love it. I really, really love it. I think I'm gonna get hooked to getting more pieces from them. Um, I'm gonna research more and uh, find out what other stuff, what other art toys they have not stuff okay um yeah so guys if you enjoyed watching this video as much as i enjoyed and got excited so much watching and unboxing them please uh, don't forget to like and uh, don't forget to subscribe to jazz loot box and leave some love in the comment section below let me know what you think um with these pieces that you just saw today and if you have any suggestions if you have any pieces that you'd like me to uh, check out let me know also if you have pieces for sale or for disposal or for adoption uh, I'm open to that too so uh, just put them down there in the comment section below so in the meantime I am going to enjoy them first I am going to admire uh, these two guys uh, that kind of sounded weird I'm gonna, admi I'm gonna admire these two pieces right now uh, so uh, I'm gonna say goodbye I'm now stuttering I am too excited I am overwhelmed but the raw word the better right get it that's how it is so um, i'm gonna say goodbye for now looters i'll see you soon and you guys stay safe bye bye